It's very hard to do domination online, harder than other kinds of sex work. Domination is not about jerking off, looking to, to a woman's body, you know. There are some games that you, you cannot do, like you cannot spank someone online, for example. Some sex workers are reimagining their business for a world where meeting clients in person is risky. Even as some states and countries begin opening up, demand for virtual sex services is skyrocketing. But for this professional dominatrix who goes by Mistress Amandara, the money just isn't enough. So I cannot pay my bills with it, with my sex work online. But for some people who are newly unemployed, selling naked photos and videos online has become a part of the quarantine routine. Harper Hart is this 24-year-old's online pseudonym. She photographs herself in her bedroom, usually completely naked, and monetizes the photos through apps. I'm just trying to make the best of a kind of like terrible situation. I'm lucky to be able to do this and make a couple extra dollars. Sex work used to be a side gig for Harper who also worked in the hospitality industry in New York City, but with bars and restaurants closed. But now I'm kind of like trying to transition into making it more of a full-time thing, just because it's fun and like, I really don't have anything better to do right now. She's building up her profile on OnlyFans, a social media platform where people can post pornographic selfies and earn money from subscribers. Think Instagram with no nudity restrictions and a paywall. I take a lot like this. About 23% of the posts are explicit. Users can only see Harper's profile if they pay her a monthly subscription fee. She can also charge extra for special photos or videos she sends them directly. And she's honing her strategy. This is my go-to. I feel like my butt is my best feature, and people like that, so you do what works. <laughs> Since March 1st, the platform has seen a 75% increase in new users, with about 170,000 people signing up every day. The four-year-old platform has more than 26 million users. It can seem little compared to Instagram's 1 billion, but it's significant for models like Harper. She usually posts a picture on Reddit, to attract new followers to her OnlyFans profile. But it's not for the faint of heart. Reddit, we get the nice gems. Like, I'd suck farts out of that beautiful butt. Um, put more butt ASAP. Business is booming for model Chanel Green, who used to work as a bottle girl in bars across Los Angeles. She uses a similar subscription-based platform called Is My Girl, where she posts topless and sometimes fully naked photos. Before I started Is My Girl, I was pretty much negative every time rent went out each month, so it drastically changed my life. It allowed me to leave an industry that was very toxic for me. My passion is working out and staying fit and being healthy, and now I can wake up early and go to bed early just to live a healthier lifestyle. The Is My Girl website has seen a 500% increase in traffic since February, and about a 40% increase in new models signing up. The platform has also launched a coronavirus relief fund, which gives models 100% of commission after credit card processing through June 1st. Those changes helped boost Chanel's monthly income. I make between 15 and 17,000 right now, yeah. More than 300 subscribers pay Chanel monthly to see her profile and message her directly. Chanel can also charge extra for premium videos, live sessions, and other purchases. She can get 15 to 30 of those requests per day. I do feel that a lot of people are spending more time at home and online, and that's made a huge difference. The founder of Is My Girl wants his platform to give women a chance to take ownership of their nudes in a world where those kind of images are often weaponized. There has been a paradigm shift of power in the adult industry and in the world. Now technology has let women control the conversation about sexy content. Having control is what made Chanel comfortable with posting naked photos of herself on her Is My Girl profile. Still though, whenever she posts a full nude, she crops her face out. I like to keep it um, kind of girl next door. 
uh, classy, tasteful. I really like to show my personality and let my fans get to know me on a kind of a more personal level. That personal relationship is often what keeps subscribers paying. If their goal is to see a naked body, you can go look up porn for free. So even though there's you know more models on the site, my subscribers subscribe to me because they love me, you know? Chanel has been using the platform for a year and a half and has made about $230,000 since she started. I've been able to invest in different businesses and stocks and buy a new car and live in this apartment comfortably without having to stress about money every single day of my life and buy a really cute puppy. But figuring out the formula for what works online isn't always easy. In Berlin, where most kinds of sex work are legal, most of Mistress Amandara's regulars aren't booking virtual sessions. She's been getting new clients through fetish websites, but she can't charge the 250 euros per hour that she does in person. There's something about uh, domination that is very, it's very physical. I have to learn again how to work, you know. She says she's relying on emergency unemployment funds from the German government to pay her bills while she figures out how to build her virtual business. One thing that still seems to get results? Props. I use objects and I also ask the submissive to use objects too. They gotta come prepared to satisfy me. Back in Brooklyn, Harper is relying largely on unemployment. Her following isn't yet big enough to pay the bills. But her photo sessions have become a kind of therapy. I really used to not be a fan of my body. This has like really helped me see myself differently and like see myself in a better light. But it didn't always feel empowering. When I was like younger, I had like nudes of mine passed around a school that like I didn't know. <laughs> After that happened, I kind of was just like, whatever. What are they, what are people gonna say? She looked fat, she like didn't look good, she has no respect for herself. Like people are gonna tell me that anyway, I'm a woman. Like I'm gonna be criticized no matter what I do. So I might as well make a couple dollars getting naked. 